somebody would start cutting their grass the minute I decide to record a video. How's that? Okay, so I'm hoping it's not too loud for you guys. I'm going to record this anyway. It's okay. Please ignore that. I hope it's not too loud. But anyway, let's talk about this hair though, okay? <laughs> I guess that's the elephant in the room. No, we got two things, okay, that are... This is the real elephant in the room, okay? All of this butter loving down here. And then this hair. But let's talk about the hair and then I'll do a completely separate video talking about my pregnancy and all of that. But I want to cue you in on this hair, girl. Okay, so let's talk. The hair I purchased was by Zuri and it's called the Brazilian Braid. And I think it comes in a, a few different lengths, maybe like 12, 16, and 20. I bought the 20 inch because I wanted my stuff to be nice and long. So I ended up shopping on ebonyline.com, I believe it is. Um, I, I'm probably wrong, but I will put the link in the description box so you guys can check it out and you know you'll be able to find the hair there um i they take paypal so i was able to pay with paypal and the shipping was really really fast so once i got the three packs in the mail i was excited to get started like asap like we're gonna get this done we're gonna put it in but then as i was looking at the hair i was like Ooh, it was still in the pack, but I thought it was looking kind of skimp or whatever. So I was like, just to be on the safe side, let me run out and get two more packs. So I ended up purchasing a total of five packs, three from online and two from my local beauty supply store. So I spent about $40 total for the hair. Um, and I ended up only using about two and a half packs in the end, because as you can see, um, the hair is very full and voluminous and it wasn't looking this full and voluminous before so but I noticed as I was installing the hair and I was playing with it and manipulating it that it started growing bigger and bigger and getting more volume things so I actually really spent only $20 for this hairstyle and then I have another $20 worth of hair upstairs for when I want to do my hair like this again so that was the benefit um, I would say though if you have a full head of hair that you would definitely need at least four packs by five just to be safe because if you you know depends on how what volume you like for your hair how you space it out and everything but um yeah so it really it really turned out great and again it's holding up well i've had it in for four weeks and as you can see it's time for a haircut i'm gonna make sure i take care of that and because my scalp is doing um, well, I think that I may keep it in for another two weeks, but it depends on how I feel this e uh, this weekend. I don't know if I feel like taking it out. I don't know if I feel like keeping it in, um, but it's, it's holding up well, so there's really no reason to take it out yet. It took me a total of five hours to put it in. Yes, it took, yes. Let me just say about an hour and a half of that though is me beyonce and around here because when I had enough hair in to cover the part that wasn't done, I was all up in the mirror beyonce and, and I took a break to eat and watch a TV show. Um, and I did do a couple of strands in between that time, but it wasn't like I was just sitting, you know, and giving it my full attention. So it probably really only would have taken me three to three and a half hours to put this in. Um, the strands are small so it does take um, a little bit of time to get the coverage that you want. I also cut a few pieces short because nobody's hair realistically is uh, all one length so I wanted to make it look as realistic as possible and um, it was really easy to install guys. I can't even believe that I wasn't on board a lot sooner with the crochet braids because when I started noticing that they were making their way back out of history I was like um uh, that won't be me. You can count me out. I ain't doing that. The crochet braids are lame because I'm thinking about the crochet braids of the late 90s and early 2000s when they looked a hot mess. The hair was super shiny and all it was was those little water wave. You know, there weren't a lot of hair options available at that time, but now we have so many options and I'm glad I did this. I see some other hair um, that I want to purchase and that I will be purchasing because I'm going to probably be doing um, crochet braids for a really long time. And of course, I'll be sharing with you guys along the way. Um, again, I hope I didn't talk too long. I tried to keep it to the meat and potatoes, but I'm excited to catch up with you guys. So I'll just record another video directly after this one so we can catch up a little bit. Um, so yeah, guys, 
check out the tutorial we'll talk yes girl see you later so the hair I purchased for this style is called the Brazilian Braid by Zuri and it's a really nice texture. It's 20 inches in length and I got the color 1B of course which is closest to my natural hair color. So for my braid pattern I just did six braids at the top, actually my mom did it, six braids at the top and then I have two braids in the center going in opposite directions and then at the bottom five smaller braids. Alright so here's how I sewed everything down and as as you can see I put most of the bulk in the middle of my hair instead of at the bottom so I can have the option of wearing a bun without the blonde showing. So what I liked about this hair is that it was already sectioned out so that made it really easy to work with. You just take a piece out and get started. So I already did the back and I can show you guys the front but here's how it's looking so far and of course I was feeling myself just a tad. So once I got started, I noticed there were some pieces that were smaller and then some larger pieces. So I saved out the smaller pieces um, just to use exclusively in the front area so that it would make it look a little less bulky and a little more natural. All right, so installation is super easy. You're gonna take the latch hook and slide it underneath your cornrow, attach the hair, close the latch, and pull it through the other side. So on the other side, you're gonna form a medium-sized loop and you have the loop and you have the tail of the hair. Take the tail, pull it through the loop, twist the loop two or three times, and then pull the hair through again, twist the loop, and then split the hair into two, and then pull only one side of the tail through the loop this time, and then pull it to tighten it. All right, so now I'm going to show you again without talking since I've already talked through all the steps, and then I'll do one more time with a close-up. All right, so then once it's all done, I'm just gonna clip and cut and pull out the stray hairs and I'm all set. 